did I really think I was gonna finish all of these? Hell no. But did I put them all on my list? Hell yeah. Hey honeybees, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January wrap up. I'm just gonna be showing you all the books I finished or did not finish last month. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. First, I'm going to start off with the books that are not with me, actually, because I have two books that I left home because I read them and I just left them there and didn't want to bring them back. So the first book, of course, the first book I finished last month was Homebody by Ruby Kerr. I feel like this was such a great book. I honestly enjoyed it wholeheartedly because it was just so, like, heart-wrenching, I guess you can say. It just had a lot of vulnerable moments in there where a lot of people can relate to them or cannot relate to them, but there's something that somebody can read and to see that you had a very great experience on not saying that like great experience but like an experience that was so hard to experience that someone else can either relate or feel some type of sympathy or empathy towards and it was just very beautiful i related to it a little bit it was just very beautiful i enjoyed this book wholeheartedly because it was just so raw and it definitely did spread light on a lot of things that all of us go through as women and it just it just really sparked the light in me and i really loved it so i gave this book a five stars the next one that is also not with me is blame it on the mistletoe by beth garrett i definitely enjoyed this book a lot because it just shed light on some of the things that families go through as well as christmas and i feel like christmas time is definitely a vulnerable time of the year for a lot of families because there's just so much going on there's a bunch of drama that surrounds christmas i don't know what it is about christmas that just family does not get along at that time of the year when it's supposed to be about family anyways i really loved it because though it was set in christmas and yes there was a lot of christmas things going on i felt like it was so beautiful because it also showed like christmas plus family and it was just like there was so much going on on the family front there was also some stuff going on the relationship front and then it was christmas it was just a lot going on but it was like surrounded during christmas time because it wasn't just like only christmas you know it was like in the month of december this happens and this happens basically i really enjoyed it because it didn't just show christmas on there and it just it was beautiful I liked it and I ended up rating it a 4.5 star. Okay, so now on to the books that I actually have with me. The first book on this list is In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. I ended up starting this book. I got 12 pages in. However, I did not finish it because I was in the middle of a very busy week, first and foremost. And secondly, it was the start of the spring semester. So like, I didn't get time to actually start reading this like that. I got 12 pages in. I was in the middle of reading this while I was reading Me High From The Light. And I just ended up never finishing this one. But hopefully I'll finish it this month. We'll see what happens. But anyway. Anyways, yeah, I did not finish this book. Next on this list is Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. Um, did I start it? No. Did I finish it? No. Um, am I going to read it? Hopefully very, very soon? Yes. Um, unfortunately, I did not get the chance to start this book. I started the tab system for it though, but I did not get to actually start reading it because it's a big book first and foremost. Like, this is a bigger book and also it was the beginning of the spring semester like i said i never got the chance to actually start it but hopefully i'll get to do that this month low-key i'm giving y'all spoilers for what my tbr is going to look like in february but we're gonna act like i'm not doing that next on this list is grandmaster of demonic cultivation um did i finish this book no so are you gonna hear about it for another month yes um i started reading some more of it i got to page 182 and i did not get to finish it i really did try to finish this in january but life was life and, and i just could never actually get the time to sit down and read it i just couldn't find the time to actually just sit down and read read unless it was that first week that i got here and i just didn't have time after that because i was only reading one book at that time i should have been reading two because now i realize that my time has been wasted because I was trying to read it, but like every time that I tried to read it, I had to get up and do something or go somewhere. And it was just like, oh my gosh, no. I did not finish this book in conclusion, but I really do this book, by the way. Um, of course, like I said, I watched a drama before I read the book, so it's not like I'm missing anything. I already know what's going to happen. It's just more in depth in here. So yeah, um, I'm hoping to finish this actually today. We're going to see what happens, but no, I didn't finish this book. Are you disappointed yet? Probably. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I'm going to go on to Things We Hide From The Light by Lucy Score. 
before. Did I finish this? Hell yes, I did finish this book. I really enjoyed this book a lot, y'all. This was amazing. It was worth the 600 pages. I've seen so many reviews that says there was no need for 600 pages because the romance didn't like start until like almost the end of it. But to be honest with y'all, like if you've read the first book, you already know that this isn't just about romance. There's so many things going on on both of their home fronts. Like Ash is going through something, Lena's going through something, and of course they're not going to fall in love immediately. Even though that was the case for both of them, low key, they both ended up falling for each other like at first sight, I guess you could say, like love at first sight. It was hard for them to like actually realize that they had feelings for each other and that their like chemistry was so like, I don't know, which I don't know, like it was magnetic. Like they couldn't stay away from each other even though they wanted to. And it was like really cute and I love that part about them. And it definitely shed light on a lot of things between the both of them, like traumas and all of that good stuff. And it just, it was beautiful. I loved it a lot. Their chemistry was amazing. The love was amazing. And you already know I love the small town about this. Like, I mean, it is a small town book, but I love the small town, literally. Everybody in there is amazing. Like, everybody from Jeremiah to um, the girls at the bar, everything. Everybody's beautiful. I love it. And we even get a lot of Lucina Sloan. Oh my god, y'all. I'm getting the book next week, actually. I'm literally buying the book next week. Guys, I'm gonna start that book so soon. But y'all, I literally loved how we got like little sparks of them every now and then in here. It was just amazing. And their banter in here was just top tier. And it was just really beautiful. I think Nash and Lena's trope was more of enemies to lovers and they just kind of didn't want to be together. At the same time, they knew they liked each other. I just love that about them. And this was beautiful. And of course we get Nox and Naomi and they're getting ready for their thing and everything else. It was just beautiful. We get everybody, we get everything and I loved it. And of course I rated it five star. Now for the one <laughs> and the last one that you have seen me talk about multiple times and still haven't started or finished. If you have been with me, by Laura Nolan. <laughs> Yay, we're back on this book again. Did I finish it? No, obviously not. Um, I only am 30 pages in. Um, like I said, things happened and it wasn't technically that I didn't want to read this book. It just never happens because like I said, I was reading Things We Hide From The Light. I was all up in there. I was reading Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. I was all up in there. And then every other book just like never crossed my mind at that time. So of course this never crossed my mind at that time. So it just sat in the bookcase. Anyways, did I finish it? No. Do I want to? Yes, I really do. I really want to stop talking about this book so bad. So we're going to see what happens this month. Am I going to read it? Probably not. But we're going to see. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that I actually finish this book sometime soon. And yeah, that is it for this January book wrap up. You know, it was a big failure. I only read three books <laughs> and the rest of them I never even finished or I started and didn't finish. I know that was like seven books. I think it was seven books. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven books on my TBR and I did not finish all of them. Um, I know I was overloading my plate. Like I said, when I was doing this January like TBR, I already knew that I was putting too many books on there. First of all, two of them were too long. And the other ones I didn't have with me at the time. And it was the beginning of spring semester. Did I really think I was gonna finish all of these? Hell no. But did I put them all on my list? Hell yes. I knew I was gonna finish all of them, believe me. Um, I just wanted to do that just in case and gave myself some options of books. But this month is gonna be much better, hopefully. We're gonna see, we're gonna cross our fingers and see what happens. That doesn't mean that's gonna happen, but we're gonna see. You know, because I, I'm bound to fail. Like, I don't know what it is about me putting a thousand books on my TBR. Anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Remember to be true and be you. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye.